Welcome back to another Backseat Eats. I'm here with Monica. We're gonna be tasting the best Halloween chocolate. I'm just here for the chocolate. We've secured the bag. We've got eight chocolates. We're talking Reese's. We're talking Arrow. We're talking Coffee Crisp, Dairy Milk, Mars Bars, Smarties, the Canadian ones, Snickers. We got them all. No, we don't. Do you have a fave? When we're talking about right now, to me, I would say Mars Bars are high on the list and also Reese's are high on the list. I literally don't know. Yeah, you just love all of them. I love You're chocolate. just like chocolate. Do you have a least favorite on here? My I, least favorite's not here. Yeah, she wouldn't, she wouldn't let me buy her least favorite. My least favorite's probably Coffee Crisp. You don't crisp. like coffee. I don't love Coffee Crisp, Actually, so. Coffee Crisp might be my, my least favorite, too. No, well, mm, damn. I don't know. Bitch, I love them all. So first thing we're gonna do is Mars Bar. Monica, how old are Mars Bars? The Mars Bar was created in 1932 by Forrest Mars. The Forrest son, Mars? The son of Frank Mars in the UK. I don't know why his dad matters. What year was it, sorry, 1934? 32. 32. The, the depression. depression. Consensus, I think we're gonna come to at the end of this video is that the depression equaled good chocolate good chocolate so well they were sad i was gonna break some off were you just gonna i was go just gonna hard? bite it Ooh. oh, oh that's that pull nice. apart was good give me the flavor profile monica we can't really this isn't really a rippable one you literally just ripped it i have I, nothing to say no notes it's so good perfect perfect change nothing this is a really gooey one so. I'm drooling. <laughs> we got nothing else to say? All right. No, it was delicious. <laughs> what I mean, you said no notes. I don't have any good. notes. It's, I don't have notes for any of these. Reese's. Reese's peanut butter cups were created by Harry Burnett Reese in 1928. Harry Burnett Reese was a former employee of Hershey's Chocolate Company when he invented Reese's peanut butter chocolate candy. And then he fucking dipped. Why? The orange color is a registered trademark. This orange? orange is a registered trademark. That's wild. <sighs> Ooh, smelling, smelling the Reese's. Sucks for everyone who's allergic to peanuts. Yeah, this sorry. This is not a peanut friendly video. That one's mine. Okay, that one's Monica's. Oh, I think they made them smaller. I think these used to be bigger when I was a kid. You know, they also think maybe your hands used to be no, smaller No, I think it was kid? definitely that they made them smaller. Just Don't now. love how much trash this one makes. Yeah, that's like a negative for sure. That's like, like look at this. What am I gonna do with this trash? That's definitely a, a, a negative on Reese's Pieces. I always eat it off the wrapper. Makes my tummy happy. My heart, yeah, my heart literally feels like good. It was like nice choice. No, but just it doesn't know what's coming. No, arrow. So we got arrows next here. Arrows like are nice. They got the little bubbles, but you put like them shit in your mouth and melt. I'm never patient enough. Yeah, I'm not just way too long. Yeah, I can't do that. My fat heart just wants it now. I'm not biting it. It's shit. gone. <laughs> I, I like Arrow. I think it's good chocolate comparatively to what we've tried so far. Put it pretty low. Just because the whole point of Arrow is you're supposed to wait, and I'm not. And you, but you can't. I'm it, not about that. They don't melt life. fast enough. No. To do that, so it's like it's definitely a no for me. Coffee crisp. Coffee crisp. Coffee crisp. Coffee crisp ancestry began in the United Kingdom in the 1930s. The Depression. Why? Yeah, they were like, man. You know what? <laughs> honestly, you know, what, I'm gonna say it. Thank God for the Depression. No. Because if we didn't, no, <laughs> we wouldn't have all this chocolate. <laughs> no, you can't say that. Okay. The bar was later introduced to Canadians as Biscrisp? 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 B no, it's one word. B I B I S crisp. Biscrisp. Biscrisp. Biscrisps. In 1938, a coffee variation was added to the line of flavored Biscrisps and eventually oh. became known as Coffee Crisp. So Coffee Crisp was invented in 1938. Okay. Wow, nice. interesting. I didn't know that. Did um, you know any of this? No, I didn't know any of this. I'll think you can take a bite of wafers. I think it's going to be No, you a have mess. to just bite it. So it's a very like bland so ass looking like it's just. I was going to say it's solid. Like it's a brick. It's a rock of chocolate. It's a brick. No, okay. You don't know how to eat Coffee Crisp. Uh, like your neat freak dad is is in the room and you're trying to hide it from him. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do that. That's definitely better, so I think, good. than I used to think. It's got the least amount of chocolate for yeah. all the chocolate bars. It's I'm not like, a big wafer guy. I actually don't like wafers. That I don't much. like wafers by themselves. I just well, actually, I do like wafers by themselves. I don't like wafers and chocolate. I don't like chocolate okay. with wafers. And yeah, because the chocolate makes it worse. And, and I'm not a big coffee guy, and I feel like the coffee was actually pretty less. I think as a kid, I used to think the coffee was way more not intense. Not strong. No. It's really not. Kit Kat, another wafer. See, the I other wafer. And I don't love Kit Kats that much either. You're so wrong this about this one too. Kit Kat is a perfect balance of chocolate and wafer. First launched in the UK in 1935 as Chocolate Crisp. I like how Kit Kat opened. I also like 
that. I like that the wafer is easily breakable, unlike coffee crisp. You're really doing a number on the I'm bag. I'm doing a bad job, here, You like fucking. I just said how I like they, how they open. I used to pretend they were cigarettes when I was a kid. So cool. Oh, I was gonna break this one in half. Oh, oops. <laughs> My fat heart needed yeah. the chocolate. I just learned how to have a better chocolate to <clears throat> with, um... It does say in that description, perfect balance. I think that coffee crisp with the chocolate is so thin. Not actually that much chocolate. Coffee crisp for a fucking sham. Is Got there a coffee Kit Kat? Probably. Because if there is, that's just a better version of Coffee Crisp. Next is the classic Dairy Milk. Just a fucking bar of chocolate. In 1904, George Cadbury Jr. 1904? I Ugh. told you Dairy Milk was going to be old as shit. Shit. He's the first motherfucker to invent chocolate? Like, <laughs> no. I know In 1904, George wow. Cadbury Jr. was given the challenge to develop a milk chocolate bar with more milk than anything else on the market. That's how Cadbury Dairy Milk was born. This is the best chocolate to get for s'mores. Mm, this is good s'mores chocolate. It's real good s'mores chocolate. Now, imagine like, imagine the position in life you'd, you'd be in to have someone challenge you to make the best chocolate. Your life challenge accepted. Milk. Oh. How did wow. I fuck you that up? How did I job. fuck this up so goddamn hard? Oh, is this my piece? Alright. I guess. This looks like the chocolate you got when you just had a Dementor attack. I I forget everything that happens in Harry Potter every time. <laughs> oh man, I'm getting the poops. <laughs> what? When I eat a lot of chocolate in one sitting, I always have to poop. That's missing s'more to me, I feel yeah. like. Yeah, I, I need to have... I feel like I need s'more. Did I? Yeah. I'm not gonna deny the obvious quality of this. It does taste the best quality. Like this is clearly the best chocolate, but it, it's just a bar. It's just boring because it is just a big fucking slab of chocolate. I'm not complaining. Which no one's complaining about. But it's but, real good in s'mores. But it's real good s'mores. We're talking chocolate. Like all these things have something else going on. So I think that's the big disparity. If I had to split it, if I'm splitting my chocolate bar with somebody, I want this. Cause I feel like you get yeah. more for your bite. Yeah. But it's very heavy, and I honestly don't know if I could just sit and finish a whole dairy milk. That's not true. I could finish a dairy milk for it. That's not fucking true. But I would feel like shit at the end. Next <laughs> is Smarties. What are Canadian Smarties, you may ask, if you're not from here? They're M&Ms. They're just- They're di bigger, though. They're just bigger, different M&Ms. <laughs> In 1882, Rowan Trees. This is a company or a person that has been mentioned multiple times, and I've just kept skipping their name because I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Introduced a candy-coated chocolate initially known as chocolate beans in the UK. Okay. Due to the misleading word beans, Roan Trees rebranded to Smarties in 1937. Why? As of 1988, Nestle began to produce the sugar-coated milk chocolate snack. You're like candy-coated beans to so then Smarties. Like, it's not like there's like a link there. It's just like those are two totally different. Oh, why things. go to Smarties? Like, why, why pick Smarties of all not things? Not a fucking clue. I just want to eat Smarties. They come in pretty colors. Including brown. You gotta eat the red ones last, though, people. No, you don't. These ones I did let melt. Cause they're, cause they melt faster. They melt really fast. I I like Smarties, but I don't know. I've never been. I used to do that when my face was smaller. Yeah, so your eyes are bigger now. Yeah. Like, you're just reflecting on all the things about your childhood. How when you were a child, <laughs> everything was you were just smaller. You were proportionally smaller. I think they changed the size of Reese's like, cups. Reese's <laughs> cups were so much bigger when I was. Five years old. They were better. No, they weren't, babe. I have so much melted chocolate on my pants. Ow. I'm like, <laughs> you look like you shit yourself. I just shit myself. I'll be real with you. I mean, I'm just better. Some people like Smarties better, though. Yeah, because they're, they're proud. They're, they're too, proud of what? The Canadian Being part? Canadian. They're, too they're not from Canada, though. They're from the UK. They're, they're not American. So that's why they're different. Most of these are UK. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what I'm learning. Most of these are. This is American. This is the only American one. No, Reese's was American, too. I lied. All right, last one Snickers. Is an American chocolate bar created Peanuts. in 1930 and named after the favorite horse of the Mars family, Marathon. What? What? <laughs> I actually don't know if I've had a Snickers in a long time. Cause, uh, cause I. Oh, you dumbass. What's the What's the commercial for Snickers? What do they say? It's, oh, it's you're not, when you're, you're, you're not you. You're, you're, you're just not you when you're hungry. You're not you when you're hungry. Yeah, that's the one where like Betty White's. Betty in White's in it. But like, I didn't know. I didn't know. Peanuts, caramel, nougat, and milk chocolate. Peanuts. It's got a lot of shit in it. That's gonna throw me off here, cause I you don't like peanuts. Fucking don't like peanuts. I want to see you do the break test. Oh, that's, that's some good shit. Pretty good. Oh yeah, there's peanuts. What is this? This is a basically a Mars bar with peanuts. Oh, oh my, my god, god. this is fucking good, man. I think it's the best one. No, I like Mars better. Nah, but uh, it's right under Mars for me. I don't like the peanuts. 
A good Worcestershire, but eat it. Yeah. Not bad, but... It's a little weird aftertaste. I don't love that. Which goes downhill slowly. Yeah. Good break apart. Good first bite. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about the aftertaste. I actually don't like that. I'll be real with you. That wasn't good. I genuinely didn't like that. Okay, yeah. Why don't we just say our favorite and favorite? Later. Mars, my least favorite was Coffee Crisp. Not because it's bad, but because it had the least amount of chocolate. And if I yeah. want to try, if I'm gonna eat a chocolate bar, I want to have chocolate in it. So it was like, hey, I bought a Snickers and this Coffee Crisp fell out of the vending machine. You want it? I'd be like, well, <laughs> fuck yeah, I want it. It's a very specific scenario where well, you know, Coffee Crisp. Just also, if like out of the I machine. went trick or treating for Halloween you the, and people put coffee, I never didn't eat the Coffee Crisp. Yeah, even See, before I, I started drinking Coffee Crisp. I wouldn't eat the coffee. coffee. For me, I would say Reese's are up there, my favorite. Uh, I think they're. They're, they're great. And then also Mars are really good. And then down to the bottom, yeah, Coffee Crisp, very low. Did you like Snickers or Coffee Crisp better? Coffee Crisp. I think Snickers actually might have been my least favorite. Wow. I think Snickers, Coffee Crisp. That's man. fucking controversial because it is actively one of the most popular chocolate bars in the entire world. So those are just some of the Can many... I Mars, Can I please... <laughs> those are just some of the many Halloween chocolates. What are your favorite Halloween chocolates to get when you're going trick-or-treating or when you went trick-or-treating as a kid? If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see me do next year on Backseat Eats. I'm with the jewel. And until next time, stay hungry. Perfect.